Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So last night, Kyle and I drove five hours and we are in Illinois at an auction. I am so excited to take you with me and I'm gonna show you what you should expect when you go to a horse auction and what to look for if you're gonna buy. Really hope you enjoy. My mom is with me right now. She's gonna help film. We're gonna check out all the horses, see what they look like. And I did bring the trailer and money with me this time. So we'll see what happens. I'm really excited. So this time I'm looking for a horse that will be good for trail rides, potential for the lesson program. Um, I have too many projects right now, so not looking for a huge project horse, maybe this fall or winter. So we'll see. All right, we just walked in. Over there to the right is the auction ring, and then you'll see this big arena space where the horses can warm up. So that's really nice. We'll be able to see them ride and everything. Heading over to get the bidding number now. I pre-registered, so, and then we'll check out all the horses. I really like this aspect of this auction, the fact that there's this big arena, so you can see the horses working, you can look at them, see if they're moving sound, what their training is like. So that is gonna be very helpful in selection. Okay, so right now I'm just looking at the horses coming through, just seeing how they're handling under saddle. Are they fidgety? Are they okay with the bit? Are they okay with the rider? How are they responding to leg aids? This is a really big arena, as you can see, so there is a lot going on, but you know, it just gives you a really good judge of character. This Appaloosa right here looks really nice, great training, handles well. Then there was this really big guy. His name is Dice. I think he's absolutely gorgeous, very solid, <laughs> minus his spots, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so I asked her if I could approach him and I'm just petting him. I'm seeing what his demeanor is like. I'm looking at his eyes, his nose, his ears, seeing if there's anything that's apparently wrong or could be a problem. I'm gonna feel his legs. I usually pick up their hooves as well, just depending on the horse. Also, you just wanna be conscientious of what the horse is doing. Even if they seem kind, you just don't know them and they're in a different situation. Also, if the owner or representative of the horse is available to talk and answer questions, that's a really great thing to do at an auction. The more information that you can take is the better. Always take it with a grain of salt, no matter who the seller is. You should do that in all situations. So that's what I'm doing here, just talking to her. She is just representing the horse and she's about ready to get on and ride him in the arena. So we'll see how he does. Uh, he's a little bit reluctant to go in, but that's very normal. Again, there's a lot going on, lots of different horses. They may act a little different in this environment. So again, you just wanna take all of that into consideration. I'm gonna watch Dice ride in a second, but I wanted to look at this pony. This pony is really cute. Love the coloring, the build looks nice, looks relatively healthy. However, I am looking for horse size right now just because I have five ponies, so that's more than half my herd. And I do need some larger horses currently. So ponies are a little out of the question today. But it is really fun to see them and I still like checking them out. This little horse is gated. There's Dice moving right now. Looks like he's doing pretty good out there. I love seeing all of them. It's really fun. Adorable little pony. But yeah, I'm just watching him. He seems quiet. He does kind of have more of a high head carriage. So I'm just checking that out and seeing how he's reacting. Okay, now it's time to go and check out some of the other horses. There are so many moms and babies today. I cannot wait to show all of them to you. This foal was absolutely adorable, very sweet and kind, letting me love all on her and give her kisses. It was just so precious. Love seeing that. So just get ready to see all these little cuties. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this little Zebu bull was killing me. He was just licking my fingers like crazy. He has such personality. I'm really tempted because he's just so fun. And this donkey and him are cracking me up. Like, look at them. They are both adorable. I can't stand it. I just want to buy every little single animal. <laughs> They're so fun. So a tip here, if you're gonna go to auctions, make sure you develop some self-control because it's very hard sometimes. Also logic and common sense because seriously, it goes out the door when they act this cute. <laughs> you have to have a limit of self-control and self-discipline and it has taken me years. Oh my goodness, look at this stud colt and this mare. They are POAs and they're registered. They are so nice. Mama is absolutely gorgeous too. What lookers, oh wow. This is Diablo, he's sort of a highlight horse, so we'll check him out later. Look at all these Appaloosas. This here is Frankie, I saw him in the catalog and he caught my eye, he's really interesting, so we'll check him out later. This gorgeous two-year-old filly, she's a registered Appaloosa mare, I think she is just stunning, like 
looking at her color she's so unique her build is really good she hasn't been started under saddle which is good in my opinion since she's only two so i'm just going to check her out just looking at her attitude her body she does kind of have a little bit of a crazy eye but the poas and the appaloosas are known to have more white saclara which means that white part is going to show more even if they're not upset However, it's still something I take into consideration and a little rule for myself is no crazy eyes. So yeah, nothing wrong with it, just a preference. Just kind of looking at her mouth, I was palpating her back for soreness earlier as well. <laughs> Horses will do that when they're trying to smell. There was this little pony and then I saw Lloyd. Oh my goodness, he is so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there and look him over and check him out. He looks so cute. I absolutely love his leopard coat. Checking out his eyes. Oh, his demeanor is so kind. He loves snuggles. That is really big for me. I do like in your pocket type horses. I'm gonna pick up his feet, look at his hooves, feel his legs a little bit. If there's any bumps or lumps, soreness, tenderness, feeling his back, palpating again for soreness, seeing if there's anything that looks misaligned or sensitive. <laughs> giving him a hug to see if he likes that which he does so that's a good vibe check <laughs> he is absolutely darling he did have a sprung shoe so i'm looking at that again feeling his back a sprung shoe is basically the shoe had just popped up a little bit which isn't a big deal but it does need to be fixed it's sometimes hard to tell if the horse is sound if they have a sprung shoe because they might be walking on it weird obviously I'm going to look at his mouth, make sure there's nothing weird going on there from what I can see, checking his age, looking for any, again, bumps or lumps. Oh! So I was like, I'll try it, and he loved them. That is so cute. How is he under saddle? He's very good. Okay. Is he, uh, he's more woe than go? Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. He will go if you ask him, but okay. it's not his favorite thing. Do you know how old he is? Uh, it doesn't say on his thing, on the paper i can ask skeeter too but 10 or 11 maybe okay so i'm just gonna watch lloyd for a second here he's getting saddled up so i'm gonna see how he reacts to the cinching and see how he does there so far he's standing good i mean there is a lot going on but we'll go check him out in the arena and see how he does there this here is frankie again so i'm just gonna watch him ride for a little bit he is a little chunk of monk isn't he but he's so cute apparently the pony chewed off his tail one of the other ponies so that's why it's short right there but yeah so i'm just watching and seeing how he's acting so far his movement he does paddle in the front a little bit there and he's just trying to figure out some lateral movement but he does seem a little more green to me but again there's a lot going on so you do have to keep that in consideration but he is also high-headed as well so you know we'll see how he ends up handling and go from there that's lloyd there so we're watching him that's that paint diablo so he's acting a little funky <laughs> but again you know crazy crazy situation that horse looks absolutely gorgeous really pretty there there's diablo again <laughs> cracking me up very entertaining back to some other horses here's a couple draft horses this is an irish drum really cute really big this is Clementine. She is a halflinger cross, but she is so cute. I love her coloring. I love her demeanor. She seems really sweet. She does have a very crusty neck though, which basically means there is a lot of excess fat. So I'm just gonna take a look at that on the other side. So as you can see, it's moving side to side. That can sometimes be an indication of metabolical issues or possibly Cushing's. Not saying that's the case, but you just wanna keep an eye out. Here's another paint I thought was really cute. But right now, I don't think it's what I'm looking for, but it's still super fun to see. I'm gonna show you some other horses. Look at this mule. Absolutely beautiful, nice little mule. Another sorrel horse. Another one with a big blaze, really pretty. This here is a younger horse, I think. Really pretty black. Look at this Palomino paint. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Love the coloring. This other little cutie here. And then that's the Irish drum again. Give you another look. <laughs> <laughs> look at this mom and baby pony is that not the most precious thing you've ever seen like i just can't handle it this little buckskin pony i feel like kyle would really like this pony just love the braids oh so adorable then there was this big draft horse 
he was a little bit reluctant um, when I did open the gate, but I didn't want to disturb him, but he did stand up. So I decided to respect him and not go in his space when he's telling me not to. Oh, this little paint was so adorable. Love this Palomino. So, so pretty. So I'm just checking everyone out right now, getting an idea of what I like. And I'm just keeping my eye out right now and just walking around. Then there was this adorable baby mini donkey and mini pony. And the guy was like, here, go walk him around. So I was like, of course I will. He was weaned three days ago. And I just, I can't even handle his cuteness, like his little hooves and his ears. He was so fun. I had such a blast, like walking him around. Again, very tempting. <laughs> he is so fuzzy and adorable. Isn't he sweet? Oh, I love it. And then here's the little mini horse. <laughs> they need to go together like as a pair because they're just both like so cute. Saw this halflinger. I thought this one was really pretty. I really like halflingers. I used to have one. So I'm just looking. But, you know, I haven't seen him go in the ring. And I don't think anybody's going to be riding him. So I'm just going to, you know, hang out for a minute. Probably not what I'm looking for today. I'm being very selective in what I want. And I'm okay with not getting anything either, but really, really pretty. This one was <laughs> giving me no vibes, just wanted the space, that's okay. And then look at this amazing draft horse, like you're gonna freak, he is so pretty. I'm gonna look him over because I think he's really cool. And he is huge. The video is not doing justice, but he is ginormous. I'm just seeing him peel back up a little bit. He's really cool, but he's again, just huge. So I don't know, he's a maybe. Oh my goodness, like they're like little twins. It's perfect, the sweetheart. I'm definitely getting a little donkey someday. I, not right now, but they are just so adorable and I've always wanted one. I'm just waiting for the right time. But unfortunately, this mama has foundered. So again, you can see the curl in the toe. So that's really sad. I do hope that they end up in an okay situation where the person doesn't just want the baby and will take care of mama too. Then there was this, I think this is a filly. And from what I remember, and I think she's two or three and started under saddle. She was really cute. She did have a little scar on her shoulder there. So you know, just something to take note of. You want to look him over. Then I saw this really cute Appaloosa. His name is Nacho. Right now he is snuggling up to me and he wants to steal my coffee. So funny. I love his goofy personality and his color is really pretty. I love leopards. So I'm going to check him out, lift up his legs, feel them, look at his hooves. His hooves are a little grown out and he definitely needs some good farrier work, but looks fixable from my naked eye. And yeah, I'm just checking him out. He doesn't mind me going under him. His back felt okay. He's built pretty good. Needs a tiny bit of weight and muscle. It's hard to tell in the video, but nothing bad. Like he's in pretty good shape and I think he's absolutely stunning. So yeah, he's so sweet. I definitely feel a connection with him. Gonna check out his mouth. He is grayed, but it looks like he's 11 or 12. Checking under that tail. Learned my lesson there. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. And I'm checking that too. <laughs> but also making sure there's no like huge lumps like under the stomach or in the sheath area. He is very personable and I really like that about him. <laughs> Gave him a little hey, he liked that. So yeah, he's definitely a potential. We'll see. There's so many, so it's so hard to pick and choose. Oh, look at him though. Isn't he a sweetheart? I really like horses that are fun and playful and personable and it just makes me so happy. He doesn't mind hugs either. So again, passing the vibe check there. <laughs> then he was like obsessed with my bracelet because it's super shiny. I was like, okay, we both like shiny things. That's cool. So we'll see. There was this really cute Palomino. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. So Cowboy's on the left and then there's Dice again. So just checking everyone out. This pony, this little roan was taking a nap. <laughs> Isn't that precious? Oh, so cute. And then there was this Mustang mare. I love Mustangs. I think they're super cool. This paint horse, really fun. Look at this like draft cross. Really cute. Love the color. Nice shiny coat. Really cool. More paints. There's so many paints and Appaloosas here today. I love that. They're just definitely some of my favorite breeds. 
That one, I thought the coloring was absolutely gorgeous, but just checking them out, looks really calm. It's a little sleepy there. Then I was looking at this little horse, looks like a POA. Um, you'll see the spots on the butt, but I also noticed there was like a little cut on the nose, nothing major, but just checking that out as well. So you see here how there's a dip. The saddle is on the horse, but this horse doesn't have the best conformation because that butt's really high. And you, even with the saddle on, you can see the dip. So you just want to be conscientious if a horse has a saddle on. Still look at their confirmation, and preferably if you can have them take the saddle off, that's important too to truly see what their back looks like. So, really cute pony. Doesn't mean they're not functional, but if you're looking for confirmation, something you want to keep in mind. There was this cute gray horse, thought that one was fun. A few bays, another mule. Look at this buckskin. Isn't that gorgeous? That one was really pretty. So there's so many here. So I'm just showing you what's here and walking in and checking out the ones that I'm somewhat interested in. But yeah, look at they have some of them have like the little name tags and the description. Look at this one with the beautiful really star. Gorgeous black horse. So stunning. And then this is another little roan pony. This one is a little sad. It was very thin. Oh, my mom felt really connected to this one. We did end up giving this one some hay and some water. Here's that Irish drum again. Look how big he is. You really get the perception when he's walking by. I thought this horse was very pretty. Looks like a buckskin. And then there was this adorable Appaloosa. This is a varnish color, really cute. Another paint horse. And again, more descriptions. You can pause if you wanna read them. But yeah, it's really fun to see the variety here. And when you're at a big auction, it's kind of important that you sort of do like a round, like looking at everything and then go back to the ones you're interested in. Otherwise you won't have enough time. This here is Poppy. I thought she was super pretty, but she is a POA and pony size. So again, I'm not really looking for pony size at this moment. Is that a stud? Yeah. Okay, so back in the arena, I saw this Appaloosa. I thought he was beautiful. His name is Chief. So I'm just going to check him out and look him over. And I will ask the guy if he will ride him for me so I can see how he's moving and what he's doing. But he seems to have an overall good temperament. He did lift that front left leg a little bit odd. And I felt the pressure when I was holding him. So we'll see how he does under saddle. Yeah, as you can see there, he paddles a little bit the front left does look a little bit different. I wouldn't say he's off, but yeah, I don't know. But look at all of these beauties lined up. Oh, they are so cute. Love this little roan. Gonna go check them out. Seemed a little skittish, so I backed off. Oh my gosh, this horse is absolutely gorgeous. And then this little white pony, really, really cute. Unfortunately, looking at this pony, it does seem like this pony had some founder metabolical issues. Then look at this Grula. I thought this Grula was like really athletic and really nice. Three-year-old, so I'm just gonna watch for a little bit. I do think that this horse is a little small for what I'm looking for today, but we'll see. Thought that paint was super pretty. Absolutely love that color. The sorrel here, really gorgeous. Another cute black horse. And there's that buckskin pony again. That horse there is Turtle. That one was really good in the ring. Another big draft horse, love the dapples. Okay, let's keep looking at more horses. But if you guys are really liking this video, if you could do me a huge favor and like and comment on this video so that the channel will grow, I would really appreciate it, horse lovers. Thanks. Again, just checking everyone out. So I'm just doing a quick like eye glance, seeing if there's anything like apparent issues with the horses. All of them are looking relatively decent for the most part. Some auctions it's hard to go to, but these are pretty nice horses. So it is really nice to see that. There are some cases where there are a little bit of thinner horses like that one, but then you have some really nice registered stock as well. But I'm looking at eyes, ears, nose, temperament, hooves, body, weight, all the different things that you wanna keep your eye on. This little registered quarter horse was really pretty. Absolutely love the color. Looks like a nice little mare, so she was fun to see. A little mule. That horse was a little thin, so ugh, it is hard to see that sometimes. This horse has some dappling, which is a sign of good nutrition. And then look at this absolutely stunning Appaloosa. Oh my goodness, I am such a sucker for color. I do not just buy for color, but oh, it is definitely appealing to me. So I'm just seeing what the horse's temperament is like. Seems to be very nice. It is a little bit windy right here 
and there's some equipment moving behind me so the horse does seem a little bit nervous and I noticed like potential for cribbing with the way the horse was kind of holding the gate. But also keep in mind every horse is going to have issues no matter what so there is no such thing as a perfect horse. This is a two-year-old registered stud colt in Appaloosa. The pink eye makes me nervous because of sunburn. Really pretty roan here. Another really cute horse. And then you have this sorrel as well. I thought this younger horse was really pretty too. Love the coloring. Absolutely beautiful. Well built. Aw, they're all so cute. So again, yeah, every horse is going to have their issues. It's just what are you willing to take on and what are you equipped to deal with? So keeping those things in mind. And you need to be aware of these things before you go to an auction or purchase a horse. Okay, let's check some more horses out. This here is Domino, and I think he's really cute. I need to go up and meet him, but he definitely caught my eye in the arena, so looks like he's riding pretty well too. Unfortunately, this mule did not look in the best condition, but this horse was really cute, really pretty. There's a few others in the back here, like by the arena that I'm checking out. Look at this little pony, the little legs. I thought this horse was very pretty, like very well built, really, really nice to look at. This white mule was really tall, really interesting to see. That's that pony I looked at earlier, really cute. Okay, then I went and met Domino in person and pet him and oh my gosh, he is an absolute sweetheart. I really liked what I saw in the arena. He is registered nine years old. I'm just looking at his teeth to make sure that there's nothing you know, weird in there in his mouth. Very personable. He is built like a tank. I absolutely am obsessed with his color. He is kind. He seems really nice under saddle. Like what more could you ask for in a horse? And of course he's an Appaloosa. Like, okay, you're perfect. So picking up his hooves, good there. And he's just so funny. He has like a really silly little personality, so we'll see. This is the three-year-old Gula I saw cantering around in the arena. So just talking a little bit more, I think a little too young for what I'm looking for today and a little bit smaller than what I'm intending to buy. Okay, so I've been here for hours. I'm doing my last rounds again, checking out the horses that I'm keeping my eye on. So we're gonna go do that. Again, I was very fascinated by this Appaloosa. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I wanna pick up the hooves, look at the legs, do my thing check her out him out excuse me and just go from there so yeah i think this one is just very flashy very athletic very cowy and it's really fun to see him and just check him out but i'm a little concerned he may crib i don't know for sure though i also am interested in this four-year-old mare she's a quarter horse registered she seems very kind of course she has beautiful color it's not all about color guys, but I'm a color snob, so sorry, I'm just gonna keep telling you that. But as you can see, there's other things that are important like temperament, soundness, build um, for what I'm looking for today. She seems really nice, so we'll see. So, so fun. I was walking along the wall again and that Palomino 21 there really struck my eye. This one's name is Groot and there was just something really cute about this one. He seemed very kind, very gentle, and I love his build. Like the video's not doing justice. His tail is super long, hits the ground. He's built really nice. He looks muscular, seems kind, just like a good horse. So I wanna see him ride. Okay, so she's riding him for me. I wanna see him trot, how he responds, what his attitude's like. He seems very quiet, has a nice trot. He looks sound just from my naked eye. And yeah, he is pretty. Isn't he cute? I really like how he moves. I like his attitude and how he's responding. She said he's not much of an arena horse, so his canter isn't like finished, but that looked okay for me, especially like in this environment. Really cool. There's a few others out here as well. That's um, Frankie and then Domino is next to him. Um, that's that two-year-old Cole I was telling you about earlier, the Appaloosa one. And there is Domino again trotting. Seems really nice, really cute. There's Frankie, so yeah, fun. So there are definitely a few prospects here. I'm gonna keep my eye out and we'll see what happens when they end up going through the ring. It's been really fun seeing all the horses. There's a lot of color here, lots of variety. All right, the horses are gonna start coming in the ring soon and we'll start the bidding process. So we'll see what happens.